18th September to 13th of October this year, Venus will be transiting in the sign of Libra, number 7 sign. Venus will be Libra and you know Mool Tricorn sign of Venus is none other than Libra. So this is finally a great transit. After so many difficult transits, a bit of crazy ones too. <laughs> That's happening since the beginning of this great year, the year of Saturn 2024. So, here it is. First for Aries Ascendance and before I begin, if you are new then don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this content. And for personalized consultations, my website will always be down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Now for Aries, as you know, this transit is in your 7th sign and 7th house, which are the same for you. So now, for you, Aries, it's very important that you have a look on your partnerships, what's going on with your partnerships. Not just your marriage or not just your love life, but any kind of partnership that you have. The seventh house shows anybody opposite to you. Not necessarily somebody who is opposing, but anybody who you are interacting. The world, everybody is the seventh house, okay? So, you need to have a look and see if there is some harmony that you can bring in. So, this period will enhance, you know, love and harmony in partnerships. It's a great time to find balance. So, if you feel that um, you are giving too much, then maybe it's time to ask some, all right? Or if you feel uh, that uh, you are only taking and not giving, maybe it's time to give, okay? So, whether it's personal or professional, you can strengthen your bonds, you know, your romantic moments, go for vacation, spend nice time with your husband or wife. And uh, there could also be a scenario where you can get married. Of course, uh, it's just a 25-day transit. It won't happen that, you know, you meet and you get married suddenly. Could happen, but now uh, it could be there that many Aries ascendants, you have your wedding during this time, depending on your culture. And uh, it could also be a good time to start looking for somebody to get married, okay? So you need to balance your personal needs along with the needs of others. And try to avoid conflict. So try to make peace with your relationships. And business partnerships may flourish and you may uh, you may do very good. Okay, so try to learn the art of negotiation and compromise and adjustment. And as they say, the best negotiation is when both the parties leave with dissatisfactions, considerable dissatisfaction. Okay, so that's the best negotiation. So try to come to the center and things will work out in your favor. All right. Taurus, Taurus, Venus is your lord, right? So this is a great transit or is it not? <laughs> this is a difficult one because Venus is now transiting in your sixth house during this transit. Now, this is not a bad transit for every area of life, but generally for relationships, you might suffer a bit with this. So what could happen is you are, you know, fighting with your spouse or there are a lot of disagreements or your spouse has, you know, made some new rules, you know, that and this is how the relationship will work and you don't agree to them. Yes. <laughs> so during this time, you better focus on yourself. Now, I'm not saying don't focus on partnerships or relationships or your spouse, but you better focus on yourself and try to center your mind and thoughts because... What could happen during this time is uh, you you are too frustrated and that's not very great for your married life, right? So because of that, your marriage could suffer to some extent. So therefore, focus on improving your daily routines, your health, your work environment, and you may find pleasure in perfection. This is this is interesting. So you might want to perfect your workspace or. You know, try to be harmonious relationships with your uh, co-workers. That would also uh, be their own cards. And what you need to understand is that you need to be careful with overindulgence in this with this transit because Venus and Six can, yeah, make you overindulge in things. Okay, not only food; it's also sexuality. So you need to be careful with that. So because of that, you know, if you lose your potency, you may feel that, you know, you are very lazy or, you know, you are not able to, you are not able to be that person, right? <laughs> so, so because of this, you may feel you are losing yourself, okay? 
because sixth house is like Marankara Sthan for Venus and Venus is your Lagna Lord, so it's important. So try to preserve your potency, especially if you're a man, your semen, it's very important. And uh, don't overindulge in things. So focus on discipline and your work. That's it, nothing else, all right? Take care. Now, for Gemini, fifth house, creativity, love, romance, children, etc. Trying to explore your creative potential. You know, enjoy romantic moments with your uh, partner, your spouse, you know, reconnect with your hobbies that bring you joy. So this is basically a time where you try to find yourself. Nothing, nothing more than that. Maybe you, you would have realized that in the last months, you know, somehow kind of oof, things are going on and you are uh, you kind of losing the losing that what is that the charm of life <laughs> so maybe now it's a time uh, where you you know try to get your charm back okay try your try to get your charm back so try to feel alive during this time it's very important and uh, go and spend time with your loved ones you know your uh, children especially and uh, if you are single you are not in a relationship nor do you have children then be good with yourself. Try to find some hobbies, you know, play sports. Yeah, indulge in learning, indulge in uh, roaming with your friends, you know, in a good way. And uh, yeah, if you are single, you might also find an opportunity for getting into a relationship, provided your Mahadasha and Tadasha agrees, okay? Not for everybody. Cancer, Cancer Ascendant. What's going on, Cancer? This is... Transit, this transit of Venus is in your fourth house. Fourth house, Venus is in the Bala. This is a fantastic transit. Or is it? Well, certainly, yes, it is. <clears throat> so, this is a great time to invest in your family, in your home, in interior design, you know, emotional security also. This will bring peace to your you know, domestic environment or you should aspire to bring peace. So, if there are some issues in your home, many want to sort them out, you want to beautify your home. Uh, yeah, this is the best time, okay? You want to include paintings and other luxury items. It's great. Maybe it's also time you buy a new vehicle, okay? So emotional connections with family members should be strengthened with this and you may enjoy a harmonious time at your house. And you may also buy a new house, okay? So real estate property matters could see favorable developments. So... If you are planning to buy a house or planning to start looking for buying a new house, well, then this is a, the perfect opportunity. Okay, so don't use this time and capitalize on this and uh, have luxuries in your life and uh, spend your money cautiously and enjoy at the same time. All right, and don't do things for the sake of impressing others, do it for your own sake, your own self. All right, take care. You will agna. Number three, Tritya, third house, this transit is going. So, this is a very interesting transit because Venus in third house is quite a great placement. And Venus in third will give you eloquence, you know, in communication, you know, with in interactions with your siblings, you know, in short journeys, it will give you luxury travels, okay. So, you can also uh, see that, you know, your communication can be become very charming or, you know, you could be able to persuade people very easily. And uh, this would help you in your personal and professional dealings also. So, so if you are, uh, if you get a chance to, you know, give a presentation at your class or, you know, in your company, then don't lose this opportunity. You're like, now capitalize on this, okay? And this may be a time when you need some balancing in your relationship with your siblings, okay? So it's very, very, very important. And uh, relationship with siblings and close relatives may improve or it might require improvement. And you may enjoy, you know, luxurious short-distance travels, okay? And your creative self-expression will flourish and you will want to express yourself more, you know, making it a great time for, you know, writing, art or you know, any kind of social media work going viral in Instagram or YouTube or anywhere, you know. So, this is a great time for self-expression and express yourself, okay? You will you will do excellent, all right? Take care. Now, Virgo, second house transit, okay? Very, very, very important. Venus transit in second house. 
it's a great time for your wealth, speech and you know family. So this is a time where you can reshuffle some of your assets, maybe if required. Okay, it doesn't mean that just because the transit is there and I'm saying you have to, okay, I'm not a financial advisor, disclaimer. But just in case you feel, you know, you need to shuffle some money from one stock to the other, you know, uh, you, you can do that. That that will be very good. Or, uh, yeah, from the stock market to real estate, or you want to sell some property and uh, buy more stocks with it, you know. So either ways, uh, shuffling your money or, you know, opening fixed deposits, that's great. Or you could also, you know, maybe attending some wedding in your family, uh, family site you know, or in-law site. Or maybe it's a time you are getting married or you start to look for somebody to get married, okay? Or maybe it's a time that you have children because when benefits transit the second house, there could be marriage or children. So this is a fantastic time for you and you might want to indulge a bit in luxury because of some family events, okay? So family gatherings, you know, you could have invitations to luxury parties, you know, hotels and, you know, resorts. So it's a great time actually, okay? All right, so have a great time. Spend time with your family. Uh, be mindful of savings and be mindful of what you put inside. <laughs> because Jupiter, Venus, transiting second house. Oh boy, it's like all the food of the world is there for you. Okay, so uh, eat and have a nice time, but do it, uh, do it under limitations. Okay, take care. Then Libra Lagna, your Lagnesh is transiting in your Lagna itself, okay? So this is a great time where you should try to bring harmony with yourself. So there are many things in your life which are currently going on, which you may feel that, uh, you know, it's not up to the expectation because uh, Venus currently, as I'm making this video, is still in your 12th house, right, in Virgo. But... And then when it comes to the first house in Libra, you will start to feel a bit ease, you know, and you will start to feel that you know things are now happening, things are now things are now starting to manifest. Okay, so therefore it's a great time to uh, yeah beautify yourself, you know your appearance, your attractiveness, <laughs> or you know go to the gym and yeah build some muscle, do yoga, and focus on you know doing pranayam. So. It's a time to focus on self-love, you know, personal development and redefining your appearance, uh, your style. So you may feel that you are becoming more social, you know, you are getting more attention from the opposite sex. And you may feel that, you know, you have this magnetic energy because of which, you know, uh, people are somehow drawn to you. You, you may feel ultra-confident or overconfident sometimes, okay, which will attract positive attention both in, you know, personal and professional circles. Okay, this is very important. And uh, romantic opportunities, social opportunities will be abundant, okay? But one word of caution for you, because Venus is also your eighth lord transiting in the Lagna, there could be uh, chances where you fall prey to, you know, addictions or bad habits, wrong habits. So take care of it and stay away, all right? All the best, Libra. Now, Scorpio, tough one, 12th house transit, not the best, okay? So... Now, this is good for some and uh, could be not the best for some. Now, depending on your dashas, if your dashas are indicating there are expenses, you know, like 8th house, 12th house is activated, then this can really give you expenditure. Okay, so be a bit prepared for that. So it could be forced, which means you get some invoice and, you know, you are like, oh, what is this? You know, I, I never did this, but you get it. Or it is voluntary. So you go and make some expenditure, okay? Luxury expenditure, you know, you buy luxury products or whatever. So, and this is what uh, it is. And uh, in terms of spirituality, this could be good, you know, for spiritual retreats, for isolation. And now uh, this transit may inspire you to introspect on yourselves and do some self healing and do spiritual exploration, you know, Athato Brahma Jigyasa. So, this is something which you might do. So you may be uh, drawn to artistic pursuits. You may want to stay a bit secluded, okay? Not interact too much with people. And uh, the bad part about this is, or the challenging part, I would say, is, you know, you might uh, indulge in escapism, okay? Now, now, this is like, you know, you are getting into wrong things, you know, wrong habits, and you are just trying to escape, you know, the reality because you are so frustrated, okay? So there could be an expense, an ex increase in uh, expenditure, 
So it could be either meaningful or it could be because of, you know, depression or anxiety or something like that, okay? And maybe it's a good time to, you know, spend some time with your lover. Uh, this could be a great time to find uh, somebody with whom you can get into a relationship also, okay? So, yeah, overall, this is a great time to be a bit with yourself and find yourself and not socialize too much, all right? Take care. Sagittarius Ascendant, Sagittarius, this transit is in your 11th house, fantastic transit, no words for this, Venus will transit the 11th house of social networks, gains, aspirations, fulfillment of desires, hopes, right? <laughs> so this is a great time to expand your you know, social circle, connect with like-minded people, you know, Venus will bring opportunities now, uh, could be from the side of the opposite sex or if you are a man from your wife or, you know, your in-laws and, you know, your friends and other influential people in the society. Financial gains are possible very much because 11th house is the most important house for finances. Particularly through group efforts or collaborative projects, okay. So, because Libra energy is there, so you have to kind of collaborate and do things together and not just do it yourself, okay. So, enjoy the sense of community and this community built up, the community focus, you know, interactions, your parties and, you know, focus on fulfilling your aspirations. So, during this time, it's very easy to get lost because Venus is transiting 11th, you know, whatever you desire is getting fulfilled. Oh, I have invitation to this party, that party, you know, this marriage, that marriage. But the problem is, when you have this, then you may suddenly feel, you know, that I'm kind of losing a grip on my life. Okay, so enjoy, but at the same time, focus on making your life better also. All right? Take care, Sagittarius. Now, Capricorn Lakna, Venus will transit your 10th house. This is a great placement. 10th Lord transiting 10th house. Fantastic for name, fame, power, position, authority, career, reputation, public life. Brilliant this is. Okay. So, this is highly favorable for your career growth and improving your professional image. Image, image, image. Okay. <laughs> what do people think you do? So, maybe it's trying to put some status. <laughs> some status update somewhere. <laughs> so, now it's a situation where rather than doing, rather than just doing, you may be interested to do a bit show off. You know, like, oh, I am doing so much. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you may have that charm and diplomacy during, uh, in context of your profession and that might bring you a lot of opportunities, okay? So uh, don't boast too much about yourself. I, I understand you might want to do this when these transits happen, but yeah, keep a check on it. So really improve your relationships with your superiors, your equals and your subordinates, okay? Very, very, very important. So try to bring in harmony with your colleagues, with your boss and with your you know, juniors, and there will be many chances to gain recognition or rewards. You know, you can get some awards. And this is a fantastic time. Okay, so try to make a balance between professional and personal life. But primarily, this is a period where you should enjoy uh, your work at your office or your business. Okay, all the best Capricorn. Now, we go to Aquarius. Venus transits the ninth house of Dharma. Higher learning, long distance travel and spirituality. This is a fantastic period to upgrade your skill set. You, know, you may feel a desire to explore new philosophies, you know, so learn something new or embark on a spiritual journey. It's very, very, very important. It's like the new voyage begins, okay? This transit is favorable for traveling, connecting with people from, yeah, different, uh, you know, different cultures or, you know, enjoying activities that broaden your horizons, okay? So, now is the period where you open up your your open you open up all your chakras. Okay, it's a period where you broaden your existing mindset. Okay, try to include other things into your uh, into your brain, into your psyche, into your knowledge, into your knowledge base. And relationships with mentors or with teachers will bring very valuable guidance during this period. Okay, so the most important thing. 
for you to do during this period is uh, to have a great relationship with your mentors and uh, yeah learn from them learn you know read the scriptures learn 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 and gain and gain and gain okay so take from others take knowledge not money <laughs> so take knowledge and uh, you will do fantastic all right take care aquarius now we go to pisces last but not the least as always this transit is in your 8th house, caution house, all right, 8th house is the graveyard. <laughs> so, this will bring transformation, you know, and join finances, you know, deep emotional bonds for Pisces natives, very, very, very important. So, if your horoscope is indicating difficulties in relationships, this may be a period where, you know, you might feel separation or you might face separation from somebody, okay. So this this could be a period of intense growth and you know as you know Venus encourages you know deeper connections and you know emotional healing also. So if you face that, if you feel that you need healing from your past, from your past relationships, your trauma, maybe it's a great time to do that healing for yourself. Okay, so go into some healing center, you yoga, pranayama, Ayurveda, massage, whatever is required. You know, heal yourself. Okay. So, you may benefit from joint ventures, inheritances or other people's resources, okay? So, this is very important that you realize that now maybe it's a time to uh, work together. So, maybe you are already in a relationship or you are married or you have a business partnership. But now it's the time where you not just do things, you know, superficially. So, you, you, have, to you have to develop your... Uh, connections you have to make them more you have to strengthen your connections okay but it is important that you do it carefully and not overly emphasize your ideas to others and also not uh, yeah get carried away by other people's opinions about you okay so you could expect transformation through relationships finances or spiritual matters uh, and if you do it the right way, it will be good or else it will be difficult for you. All right. So, Pisces, don't worry. Just take it slow. Take it easy. But heal yourself from your past traumas. All right. Especially in terms of relationships. Okay. Take care, everybody. Jai Siaram.